So you might as well just kick oh, yeah, it off. Yeah, I was, I was, I was just saying, I was, I was just about to say. Um, I said this before. A lot of people don't agree with it because you know this particular situation doesn't necessarily happen all the time. But in this case, if you're being detained by a police officer, don't do anything stupid. Don't don't go reach for anything. Don't go. Dipping into your car for something, you know what I mean. Don't don't make any sudden movements. I'm not saying that the police were, you know, justified in, in shooting and killing a man, but don't put yourself in that position to be killed. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not saying that you deserve that, mm -hmm. but you know, you you put yourself in that predicament when you make, you know, bad judgment. By doing stuff like that. Why go in your car? You got guns pointed at you. From what I understand, you know, allegedly, they said they, they tased them already. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once I've been tased and everything like that, like, I'm not. I'm you not, got it, bro. That's it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Game over. But then on, on, on top of it, you got your kids in the car. Mm -hmm. And, like, not only now, not only are you putting yourself in jeopardy, but you put your kids in jail. Mm -hmm. Because those those police, if they would have seen any of those kids, the eight year old or whatever, jump in the front seat or something like that to grab something, that whole car getting lit up. It, it, it's, it's a shame, but that's just the reality of what's going on. Yeah, that's kind of like the world we live in. Yeah. So there's a lot of information about this whole situation now. When this thing first came out, they were saying that he was out there breaking up a fight. Then there was some other information saying that the police were there because he had an outstanding warrant for uh, domestic disputes, domestic disputes, and um, sexual assault, or sexual battery, whatever the case may be. Regardless of the fact, now you're in a situation where you know you're dealing with the police, and the situation has escalated, and now. Guns are being drawn, so now it's taken to a whole nother level, and now you're not even respecting the fact that these guys have guns pointed at you. So you're not respecting the fact that these guys have guns. Like once you got your guns pointed at me, bro, you got it. Like that's like I, there's nothing else for me to to do because you know you got the advantage now. Once it's guns drawn, and my kids are there. Yeah, yeah, that's like that's, that's it. it but, you know, yeah. but then you ignore it. Now there's some other information that's going on saying that the guy had a knife or everything. I don't know how true that is. I can't from the video that I've seen, you can't really tell I because the, tell. the the quality wasn't all that great. But you know, if you listen to the video you can hear the cops say, drop the knife. I do hear that. I can't see a knife, but I do hear the cops saying drop the knife. So whether there was a knife or not, um, you're walking away from police that have guns drawn on you, and then you walk into your car, and it seems like you're going to reach for something. Exactly. You already so, have a knife on you. So if you're already, if those factors, you know, we don't have mixed information about this, and we don't have all the information about this, but from the, what the information that we do have, you know, whether he had a knife or not, whether, you know, he was reaching, if he had a gun or not, because I was also hearing that 
you know, the guy said he was going to go get a gun. Now, I can't clarify that because in the video, I don't hear him saying anything about getting a gun. But regardless of the fact, you're walking away from police that have guns thrown on you and you walk into your car and from my point of view, it looks like you're trying to reach for something because it doesn't look like you're trying to get to the car. It looks like you, he opens the door and then reaches for it. It doesn't look like he opens the door and then tries to sit, like try to get away. So that ended up him like being shot. Now I don't agree with like, you know, it was definitely excessive. Like I will agree with that. Like there was no reason to keep shooting that man that many times. You know, and I felt like the police don't have proper training because if you're, if you have your gun is drawn on somebody who you deem as a threat and you see them going to the vehicle to potentially reach for something, why are you following him? Yeah. So in case he, in case he does pull out a gun, right. that, that, case, that, you, that, you're putting yourself at greater risk because you're, because you're right there. Like, if you're thinking, all right, this guy's potentially becoming a threat, let me keep my gun on him, but let me create some type of distance so in case he does pull a weapon, you know, I can already have, because, you know, it's easier to hit a target that's closer up than it is far away. So that's just my opinion. But, you know, this whole thing is, you know, strung up a lot of controversy and people feeling different ways, you know, about it or whatever the case may be. But I think in this situation, especially as black folk, we got to stop putting ourselves in situations like that that can cause us to potentially be killed because we already know that it's kind of like open season on us as black folk right. with police. So if you're in a situation when you're dealing with police, you got to be more careful and move more differently as opposed to if you were with somebody else because you already have that stigma in your mind already that, all right, let me, you know, be cool. Or, you know, as a person that's had guns pulled on me by police, all right, you know the deal. Yeah. So I've had that happen to me before, straight hands up, hands are visible, no sudden movements, and I'll just listen to every instruction. I think black people got to pick and choose, you know, their battles more carefully because you know, had that been your his intent to potentially harm the police or shoot the police, or whatever the case may be, if he was reaching for something, you're you already lost that battle because they already have the guns drawn on you. So if that was something you was planning on doing, and I'm not, you know, advocating violence against the police, but if that was something that you were planning on doing, you were already at a disadvantage anyway. So I think with all the stuff that's been going on lately of all the you know police brutality and all the stuff that's going on, I think people are just taking every single situation <laughs> with police and using that to be as oh this is you know you know police brutality. <laughs> now another example of that was the Rashard Brooks incident back in um, I forget what what month it was in, but it was in Atlanta. Guy was drunk in a drive-through whatever the case may be, and someone called the police because the guy fell asleep in the drive-thru and wasn't moving. Cops show up, um, they had to move his car, which I was surprised that usually if you suspicion, if you're in suspicion of DUI, you're not gonna have him move your car. Yeah. So they had him, he had him park his car up, they did a field sobriety test, he failed, and then they were trying to arrest him, and then he started struggling and started trying to fight with the cops and then they try to taser him. He's still fighting with them. He ends up getting a hold of one of the tasers and then starts running away. And then the guy, the cop ends up shooting him in the back and then he ends up dying. And it looks like he kind of pointed the taser, but at that point, it doesn't really matter. If the person is running away from you, they're no longer a threat. And I felt like that was another case where you made a situation more than what it had to be because a simple DUI would have just been a night in jail or then a fine or whatever the case may be. You turned that into assault on a police officer and then, you know, resisting arrest and fleeing and evading. So and with that specific situation, I remember arguing with people saying that 
oh, why didn't the cops let him let him go? Like, take him home or whatever the case may be. And I don't know too many DUI situations where the cop takes you home. You, uh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> you, that never happens. If you get a DUI, then you're going to get arrested. But that's the thing of people trying to, you know, have every single shooting that goes on. Now, I'm not saying it's justified at all because God was running away from me. And he shouldn't have shot him while he was running away. Same thing with this situation. Um, I kind of get why the cop shot him, but again, it was over excessive. Yeah, I mean, as long as no weapons present, then. That's another thing. I know people got to, it's a tough job kind of being a cop. Because you know you got a split level decision, but in your mind shouldn't already be like, all right, let me just shoot this guy. There should be some type of threat present before you know. The fire point. It's a conflicting situation, but I feel like with everything that's going on now, you know, black folks just got to move a little bit smarter when they're dealing with the police. Mostly is you got to move smarter. A lot of the arguments that I've been getting, it's like people will say, well, oh, Breonna Taylor was sleeping and she got killed. Or, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I understand it. But in these particular situations, don't put yourself in a position to get shot. I understand it's wrong that the police are shooting people right, that are true. unarmed, but live to fight that battle. You know what I'm saying? Don't, because you're not going to win it in that instance, by running away or by you know, reaching for something or something like that. You know, you're not gonna win that battle that moment. Doing stupid shit like that, like, it's, that's weird. Uh, I wouldn't do it. It's just like, take the badge and the, you know, the cop away, the, the uniform away, and you're being robbed, you're being held at gunpoint. And somebody tells you to not move. <laughs> you telling me you're gonna still, you God got a gun to your head, you're still gonna move? You're still, it's, it's the same thing, you right. know what I mean? Because people gotta realize cops are human beings as well. They react to shit just like we do. So if you're gonna do something stupid, well, I'm telling you not to move, and I got a gun to your head, or I got a gun to you, and you you decide to jump, move, do something, you know what I mean? You're gonna get shot. You're gonna get shot every time. Because at that point, I feel like I'm I'm being threatened. You're about to reach for something to, to do harm to me, so I'm gonna get you before you get me. Right. Yeah, that's just an unfortunate situation, but, you know, now they got, you know, today, you know, all the NBA games have been postponed because all the players have, you know, decided, you know, to protest while not playing. And, you know, I, I respect that. Absolutely. I do respect that because, you know, now it seems like they're finally taking a stand for everything that's going on with all this, you know, this police brutality and everything right now. It's, it's a fucked up situation that we're living in, but... That's our reality. That's what a lot of people out of realize. You know that they, there's a lot of mixed emotions and you know why this and, and why that. And like this isn't new. This is the history of this country. Uh, we've been we've been dealing with this stuff ever since we got here. So it's nothing new. That's what I'm saying. People gotta move smarter and know when to pick your battles because you know you if you're outgunned and outmanned. And you're picking the wrong battles, you're gonna lose every time. So we just gotta be a lot smarter with how we move things, you know, how we move and shit. You got anything to say, man? Keep it off the quiet. Uh, uh, <laughs> nah, man, y'all get it out, man. Cause I just wanna, um, now another video, you know, I, I only seen the video once. So that video, did, did, um, did, the, did the guy have handcuffs on? So, as is rumored, the charges he had was what? Sexual conduct? What else? It was third degree sexual assault and um, some domestic thing. Like domestic so, violence. both of those are very, not very, both of those are high profile crimes. Mm -hmm. When you're apprehending somebody, why wouldn't you put the person in handcuffs? You wouldn't have to taser them. If well, like handcuffs. I said, we don't have all the information. No, no, I'm just, I'm just getting like yeah. based off of that. When yeah. you get, when you're getting obtained, you know, obtained by the cops, you're in, hand especially with those crimes that they quote unquote said he had. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they put him in handcuffs? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm trying to. Then on top of that, let's get, you know, bypass all that, the handcuff. You go for the taser, right? Mm -hmm. So, they don't believe in tackling. You could have tackled the guy. It was about four of them. You could have shot, you could, damn, you could have shot the guy in the leg. Right. You shoot him right in the leg. Yeah. But you wait, but, but you wait till he gets to this car. They could have, all this could have been avoided before you get to the car, you know, but, and, um, and like you said, I did, there's two sides to everything, but I, look, it's like, it's the right way to do something, and it's, and it's silly shit, that is silly shit, it's like, come on, man, if you see somebody that has a crime record, as they say he has, when you when you get him out the car, you put him in cuffs so he won't be a danger to you or himself or anybody else around. You take away his hands. Now, you sit him on the curb, read him his rights, and then you go from there. What I with the video that I seen was a hundred percent pure silly shit that they don't teach in the academy. You know, so for me, like you said, you got to be smarter, got to move smarter as a race. Yes, we do. As you said, when somebody's giving you an order, sometimes, like you say, you have to pick your battle. Just chill the fuck out, you know. But again, as high, you know, officers of the law, as they go to the academy, as they're instructed to do is follow procedure. And those guys did not follow proper procedure. I'm sorry they didn't. He should have, he should have, look, he should have known, yo, you chill the fuck out. What's going on in the world? I'm not trying to, I got, and then on top of that, you got your kids in the car, man. You got your kid, you got your babies in the car. I'm not justifying that, but as the officers of the law, you need to follow proper, <clears throat> excuse me, proper procedure. You keep yourself safe, you keep your suspect safe, and you keep everybody else around you safe. But with silly shit going on, you get silly shit like that. So for me, like I said, I didn't watch the video like constantly. All I had to see one time to know that that video was full of silly shit. I agree with you 100%. And a lot of people get it confused to where I'm saying that the police are right. You yeah, know, actually, I got what and you're I saying. And I don't want to yeah. think that. I'm saying, you know, we got to move smarter. But you know what I'm saying? And stop putting ourselves in danger. I understand stuff happens, even if we don't put ourselves in that position. You know what I mean? Stuff does yeah, happen. Yeah, there has been situations where people have been fired. Definitely. Still been shot. But you lessen your chances of getting shot by just complying and cooperating. You know what I'm saying? So It's kind of like, you know, if you stand behind a horse and smack, it le smack his leg, what's going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like if you get pulled over and there's two cop cars and they're giving you orders, follow the orders. Yeah. Now, anything else that happens after that, that's when you, as a human being, you follow your steps. You let somebody know, hey, look, I'm getting pulled over. Boom, 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 boom. Now you're prepared. So now you all you have to do is follow instructions. But I get it. It, I get it. They shouldn't have did that shit. And those are probably veteran cops doing rookie shit. Right. Man, Silly I, shit. I'll say this, because, you know, there's been so many situations where it's like, all right, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Know. Absolutely. Like you were saying before, you, you got to play the chance if you just, you know, you know, do what you got to do. But, you know, like I said, there, all the information hasn't been released yet. So mm -hmm. all we've seen was him shit. fighting with the, him fighting with the cops. Him walking away and him reaching into the car, trying to get into the car. Now, we don't know what happened prior. We don't know if they, you know, if this whole he was breaking up a fight situation is the case or if, he, yeah. if they was coming there to arrest him for and that's, whatever yeah. warrant shit that they had going on. That's, so the, that's the sucky shit about it because, like, when you get stories like this and they just get put out there, you don't know what led to it. So. Right everybody's expectations, everybody's mind is wandering. That's why it sucks. It's like, like it sucks when story, like I said, when stories are out, I want to know the whole details because I want to make my assumption on 
beginning to end. That's what I'm I don't want to just watch the third act to the last act. I want to see the first two acts because I want to get a better understanding on what happened. You just can't put news in my face and not give me the whole facts. Yeah, I think it's, you know, with everything that's going on, you're just trying to cover every every which way mm -hmm. this could possibly go. So whether he was breaking up a fight or not, or whether he was being arrested or not, the fact of the matter is, you know, he kind of put himself in a bad situation. And now were the cops right? Absolutely not. They shouldn't have shot him that many times. I mean, the guy, the guy survived, but he, you know, they're saying that he's paralyzed from the waist down. Yeah, but so that, I guess we're gonna get his side of the story as you know. The fuck that's fucked up. The more fucked up part is you do that shit in front of his kids, man. You don't do that shit in front of no kids. Yeah. You don't do no shit in front of no kids. Yeah, I mean, I mean the cops don't do no shit like that for the or he don't do no shit like that. Cops don't shit the cops. The cops don't give a fuck, man. I know, I know, I know what they don't, but I'm just saying you don't do no shit in front of no kids. Man, listen, I'm, in my mind, they probably already knew the the kids was already there. Whatever the case may be. So if I got guns pointed, exactly, and you walking away, and your kids there. I'm like, obviously you don't give a fuck about nothing. No. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so I'm already like, because I'm, just, I'm already on edge because now, you know, regardless of the fact I'm telling telling you to drop the knife, I can't see no knife. We'll find that out, you know, once the story you know gets more you know into detail if he had a knife or not. But regardless of the fact, I'm telling you to drop the knife. I'm giving you orders. I got a gun pointed at you. You got your kids in the car. You don't care. Yeah. You don't care about your life. You don't care about your kids' life. So you damn sure don't care about my life. So I'm already gonna be on edge, and then you know you going in the car, and then that's just this is over for him. But I think he's it's a thin line between a lot of things because you know the cops aren't trained properly. And I don't think they're meant to be trained properly, especially when it comes to us because we've seen cops use less restraint on white people, you know, that have done like far worse situations. There's videos of them like fighting cops and doing all this other stuff and then there's video of the there's white no... dude taking having a gun and like and people and the cops is literally giving this man a chance mm -hmm. for, for, for oh, literally seven minutes. And you hear people in the background like that dude was black. They if oh, he would if he would have thought about he would have thought, thought about touching the gun, shit would have been over. They would have pulled up and blasted him. Soon as they would have got to off the, off of soon as they got to the scene. Off of a car, they would have been no drop. It would have been no drop the gun. Nope. Because in that case, it's the same shit with the, the whole Tamar Rice situation here. Yeah, Man true. had a toy gun. They ain't asking no questions. They just came there and blasted him. But y'all naming all these situations. These situations are just examples of all the more reason why we should know better going into these situations. Getting pulled over, but know what happened to this person. You know what happened. But to this and person. in that situation, in that situation, as you say, you're right. But there needs to be more people stepping up and making sure, and parents yeah, the cops making gotta sure be, that too. But the cops got to be held accountable too. They do absolutely. Everybody the has to be held accountable because in that situation, we, we do too. He didn't have no chance to comply. Yeah. If they came up there, he he got blasted before he even knew what happened. Right. Yeah. So in certain, in certain situations, like you know, certain situations, like like what you said with that, you just, you know, that's just fucked up. But in certain situations as what, you know, just happened, sometimes, man, pick, you gotta just pick your bags. I'm saying if there's a certain situation where you can comply and just do all this stuff, just, just comply, do it. all this stuff, don't make situations worse because you feel upset or you feel like with everything's going on that you gotta, you know, prove your bravado Mm -hmm. Whatever the case may be, and start you know doing all this extra shit. Just do what you gotta do so you can get home to your family. Whatever the case may be, if you feel yeah. like just police brutality or whatever the case may be. I mean, I guess you can take it to the courts, but then there's been situations. See, it's so tough because it's been situations where fucking got guy gets beat up by a cop and the cops get away. You know, yeah. stop free, or they do end up killing somebody unjustified. Right, Rodney King, and then yeah, Rodney King was prime example. Right, that shit yeah. was called on camera, and they still got away. Oh, but then camera. You got situations where people have been beat up and all this other stuff and worse, whatever the case may be, on video, whatever the case may be, then the cops still get away. So you've seen a lot of situations where people are just fed up with everything that's going on. I mean, I mean, you should. I mean, who should. wants to wake up? Like, who wants to wake up in the morning knowing that they get in their car and get pulled over and get their ass whooped or killed? 
I mean, that's a that's a tough yeah, watch. Like, that's a tough pill to swallow sometimes, man. Because I, I was driving last night. After you left my crib, I went to go grab some food. Because Morris was everywhere. I yeah. seen him hit that U-turn. <laughs> it's my fucking heart dropped a little bit. You never know now. Yeah. Like, what even me, saying? I have conversations at work. Like, me, I'm one of five black people that work at my job. So, I hear conversations all the time. And for me, I feel like I have to repeat myself all the time at my job. Because it's like, it's hard to explain to people that never walked in your shoes. Yeah. It's hard. It's I'm hard even, to I'm explain. Try, I'm it, and, and this is the thing, I don't like to try to explain, but I feel like I kind of have to because... I want them to hear my point of view. Just, even if even if they don't care, even if they don't agree with it, I still want them to hear what I go through. Because, I mean, granted, I don't have a terrible life, but at the end of the day, when I walk out of my house, you never know. My skin is still black. I grew up differently. I live in a dominantly white area, and I'm black. Enough said. That's the stuff, that's the struggles that we have to deal with, you know. It's weird you, know, you, you say that, the struggles that we got to deal with. Honestly, bro, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I don't think, I, I don't, I've never dealt with any kind of police brutality. Mm -hmm. I never had a, a, a police officer draw a weapon on me. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I think that honestly has a lot to do with the, the message that I'm trying to bring out here right now today is, fact that I'm not doing anything stupid to cause that, but at the same time, I don't know if it's the area I'm in, you know, I've been living in the Mercer County area for my mm -hmm. whole life, so, you know, I don't know if it's that, but, and I'm, but I'm sure people dealt with some racist cops, but these cops, not so much to where they're going to kill you, but they're going to, they're going to fuck with you, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, fuck with you to where, you know, but it's about the cops having common sense too. And I gotta admit, the cops around here, they got a lot of common sense. They know we're not gonna shoot this person because we put in our lives that way. We got a family to go home to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, that's what I don't understand what's going on with these situations. Like, these cops aren't thinking like, I could possibly get prosecuted for murder in, in this in this situation by killing this person. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't flash by. That, that, to me, you would think that they would have a little more caution behind pulling that trigger. So many times at that. I got shot like what? Like, and, and by you saying that, that's the crazy part, and that has that has people think that has me think like, damn, do do, do people and that have that sense of power think I'm just disposable? Right. You know, it's just yeah. like, damn, you could you could sit there and be like, you know what? I could do the right thing, just write him a ticket, but you know what? I'm gonna just do the wrong thing and not care. Because they got cameras on their cars, yeah. so they see the shit. You gotta look at the type of people that you're dealing with with certain police. You got some fucking psychopaths that's... And then you got police officers that used to get bullied in high school. Yeah, too. And they get a badge, they get a little tight shirt. They and they walk around here. He said the best. Pussy ass. Cops come out here, they don't, you don't know what they just went through at home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They maybe got in an argument with their wife. Arguing with their kids, said some shit to them or something like that. They could just be having a bad day. Woke up working on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, but you got to... Leave all that shit at the door. Yeah, that's yeah. especially yeah. when you dealing with putting. Especially when you have a Jeopardy. deadly concealed weapon. Especially when you're head. you're supposed to quote unquote protect and serve. You got to leave all that other it's shit more serving at the at the, at the at the door. Cause you know me being in corrections and shit, you got to leave all that stuff at the door. You liable to put your livelihood in jeopardy because you have shit going on at home or you got had a bad day. Mm -hmm. you, you got that shit going on. Stay home. Yeah, that's what I do. If I don't feel like going to work because I feel like I'm going to knock somebody's head off, I stay home. Absolutely. I, every, you <laughs> have every right to. <laughs> because it's just like, you're going to put yourself in bigger risk that's by right. sitting there going to work when you got that type of stuff going on. And then, as you see in these videos, one cop fucks a whole team up. Yeah. One cop. Yeah. Their decision, because guess what? As a team, if your boy doing y'all got y'all don't have to follow suit, but... In, in their eyes, as police officer, you got to follow suit. And you fuck everybody else up because of one person. Now, everybody else could have not been on that bullshit. But one person on that bullshit, now everybody else got to be on that bullshit. And, and, it's, and it's crazy. It, it's crazy. It's really crazy. But that's that's literally how they think. How some people think. And that's... If you have a little bit like 
this too, man. A lot of a lot of this shit is exposing shit too. Mm-hmm. Because when that shit happened with the dude in Atlanta, a lot of cops were either quitting or leaving because they felt some some type of way they're being like prosecuted for the bullshit that they're doing. Yeah, that other people are doing. So they'd rather not be a cop. You know, I wouldn't either. Because now you getting the shit that you was getting away with. It's coming back to bite you. So now you just don't want to be a cop at all. But it was cool when you was yeah, doing shit, yeah. whooping niggas' ass and doing all this other bullshit. It was cool then. But now that you know you get in trouble for it, oh no, nah, let me let me not do the right thing. Let me just quit. Yeah, let me just quit. That shows a lot about what's going on in the police and in this country because oh, yeah. I I'd rather quit the job, you know, than you know do the right thing. Not even just police. That just shows the mentality of this country. Instead of facing the fact that we fucked up, right. let's just let's just quit and just not talk about it no more. You know, until it's another incident. Yeah, until it's another special. incident happens that shakes shit up. That's just that's just Speaking that's just the, the yeah. That's just the that's just America's. To me, that's just America's way. Sweep shit under the rug. It's been like that. It's, it's always been like that. And it's gonna keep being like that. And it's gonna keep being like that until something, until, something, until like somebody that, or something be like, yo, we just gotta fix this shit. Even, so I know it's going to take years. It's not going to take days. It's going to take years, but you got to fix it. It's going to be hard to fix it because you deal with people that don't want to do that shit. Right? That's, That's not like a personal kind of, issue. It's, it's kind of hard dealing with people like that. You know, you got to understand that they, I they run the country. People. I work with people. So they only going to do what they want to do. You feel me? Regardless of how you feel about it, that's why I keep saying that in order to really, you know, establish some type of change, you got to hit them. Where it hurt, and that's the pocket stuff. Yeah, that's that's, 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 that's really, like, all that you know, all that marching and protests and all that shit, cool, whatever the case would be to really do something. You gotta hit the pockets. Gotta hit the pockets. Voting they, 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 they gonna do it. Protesting they gonna do it. Marching they gonna do it. Mm-hmm. You gotta hit the pockets for them because that's all they really care about is they money. Nice, and that's good that you said that because it just you should do that, but it just can't be a selective group. Everybody has to be in suit. Has to be done as a collective. Has to be done. Everybody just can't be certain people doing this and everybody it has to be everybody. Just like I don't know if he's ever gonna get to that point. It's not. Because everybody yeah. niggas gonna be niggas. Like until you change the mindset, you yeah. know, it's it's gonna be tough. But so but to change the mind, that's the scary part. To change the mindset, sometimes you gotta change the area. Not saying you gotta move from the area, but the environment that people live in creates a mindset. So if you wanna change the mindset of about somebody, you gotta change the area. And what I mean change the area, you have to clean the area up. Like if like people when when white people go into Trenton, they're automatically scared. Because that's the that's the that's the word of mouth that people get. Trenton is starting to become, you know, identified. I start to see more and more black people with Trenton every day because they about to start. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they buy. They buy. I mean, up yeah, shit. They about yeah. to buy up shit, yeah. and you know. You know, uh, you know, it's funny that you say that because I see a lot more white people downtown Trenton than ever. See, see them out there jogging and shit. That's how you know it's real. <laughs> you see them out there loud. Now they ain't gonna go to you know. There's some white people that was born and raised that know, that, that went through the struggles right along with yeah, us. Those, those, those not the ones I'm talking what's about. What's going on? They know what's going on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you know, they, they don't know for so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They you you might have they know they was getting shot. <laughs> you might have, <laughs> you might have <laughs> grew up in the same area. I might not have had you know that much money, but when it comes to like you know real like situations like what's going on, they don't really know. Yeah. Because they a lot of them not really dealing with it. You know, the prime example of this shit is like, you know, they got these protests going on out there since he, you know, the guy's been shot and there was this white guy, 17 years old, walking around with a gun, killed somebody. Yeah, he initially killed somebody. The motherfuckers was chasing him, whatever the case may be. You know, they I seen the video, they knocked him upside his head, knocked him on the ground. Some guy had, the guy had a pistol. I'm just like, so he knocked me. He had the opportunity. <laughs> he on the ground. He got knocked on the ground and shit. He shot him. Shot the guy with the fucking gun and then shot some other dude. Killed him. And then got up and kept walking and then walked right by police. I heard there was a video of them thanking him. 
That I don't, that I don't, that I don't, I haven't seen, I haven't heard. But, no, I, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. But, but this is just to go, this just goes to show you that it's, it's never going to stop. This kid, you know he was raised up in that. That's, that's, that's taught for him to go around, you know what I'm saying, it, doing stuff like that. Yeah, but the crazy thing is, I think the, the people that he killed was white people. I mean, I'm just talking about it generally. Like, yeah. He, 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 he's walking around with a high power right there. 17 year old boy running around with that. Well, I mean, yeah, that's awesome. different, but. But the thing is, he's he not from Wisconsin. He was from Illinois, so he came from another state. <laughs> oh, wow. it over. I don't know if Wisconsin is open carry or not. In regards to the fact, I don't know because I don't know if Illinois is, is open carry or not. Because I know certain states got different gun laws, and I don't know if you can have an open carry in one state and then if it applies Chicago to another state. Chicago is in Illinois, so. <laughs> I just, I all, all that shit floating around is illegal. <laughs> all, all that shit going on, you know, 4th of July, you know, that, shy shit, rat. That, yeah, that shit, that shit, that shit illegal going on there. Big thing so popping so, up. So, so that shit never matter. That, that never mattered with any urban area with gun violence. That shit, there ain't no legal firearms in the in the hood. Just don't get caught with it. Man, like that's the, that's just the world we live in. A seventeen year old boy with a high car. I don't care what state you. That <laughs> shit. That shit sounds crazy. I don't care what state you're in. That sounds, shit sounds bet, crazy. I bet, wow, you, I bet you, if he was black, that shit would have ended quickly. That nigga wouldn't even be able to get the briefcase out down the stairs. I'm a black person. I yeah. Don't know what <laughs> black dude sense. walking around with a gun, a, a and then shot somebody. Yeah. And he's still walking around, and then walk by police crazy. with the gun. Mm-hmm. Crazy shit. Look <laughs> how <laughs> little black Christmas trees. <laughs> Yeah. Would have been New Year's. Would have been New Year's in that motherfucker. It's crazy, but that's that's the shit we live in, man. And Mickey don't even want to live here. But real life, bro, I'm really I'm really thinking about going to Canada. But I'm, yeah. really, I'm going. Canada's Canada. nice south. It's the winter, the winter shit. Uh, ah, I didn't know what. Uh, I know what. I'll get it. I get it. It'd be cold. It'd be too cold. Yeah, it'd be cold here. It'd be cold here too. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be too fucking yeah. hot here. My, my thing, my thing is this, man. Like I feel like you know. If you want to take that route, they can, but fucking America is for all the money. So, did y'all got to pay up. Everybody keep talking about if you don't like it, leave. I'm like, all right, pay up for it. Y'all owe us bread. Yeah, boy. Right. So, so, pay that shit up. Well, I mean, if that's how y'all feel, if that's how y'all really feel, I'll gladly relocate to pay me what you owe. Yeah, you know what's on the island, something. Pay us what you owe, man. At the end of the day, they owe a lot of people money, not just us. Exactly. They owe this whole, whole world money. The whole world or other people money. <laughs> like the our whole country or other country. Oh no, bro. At this at this point I'm just waiting for doomsday. <laughs> that's it. That, that's what it's gonna come down to. This bitch is gonna blow up. Think about that. <laughs> oh, twenty twenty then doomsday alone. Word. Yeah, that, that's it. Twenty twenty is wrong. I'm kind of afraid for twenty twenty one, I honestly. I don't know, man. Maybe it'll get better. I don't know, man. They ain't looking too good. <laughs> it's a lot, of, a lot of wild shit that's going on. Not a lot of silly shit. Yeah. Silly. Shit. Silly shit. Capital S. Silly S. Silly shit. It's a lot of silly shit going on since, since the new existence of everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Niggas 400 years ago, I'm like, oh, this is some silly shit. Yeah, <laughs> where, where is that? I knew it was silly when Kanye said he was going to run for president. <laughs> I said, all right, that's that's the You don't look at this that's silly nice shit. Right there. I'm like, that's all I need to know, bro. No, I knew it was some silly shit when he dyed his hair blonde and put that red hat on and up there cheesing. I was like, look at this silly shit. Oh, I think the writing was already on the wall at the beginning of the year. Once, once Kobe died, I'm just like, yeah, bro, this, that should have been. <laughs> That should have been the fucking like shit right there that was going to determine like how the rest of this year. I'm was going still, to go. I'm still fucked up from that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, uh, I'm not over that. I'm not over. That. I really felt like a family member died. Where's his life, bro? When they do the commercials, I'm like, yo, that nigga not dead. Like, I can't believe that because he looked, he looked like how he looked before. Like, I, I can't believe that. I can't. I won't believe it. He, him and Tupac sipping. Sip the coconut alcohol drinks. Wherever the fuck they at, man. Two pots still alive, too. So, it's a lot to deal with, but you know. These, these NBA players, they're doing this whole thing where they, they're not playing. Like tonight, they're not playing tonight. Do, you, do y'all think that's really having an impact on what the police is doing? I they, think it's, it's going to take a lot more than that. It's going to take a lot more. It's going to take a lot more. Like, if they, had, had they sat out the whole season, 
I think it would have brought out a little bit more of a, you know. That's the same thing I said. I said, if y'all didn't go to Orlando at all, yeah. then, you know, boom, like. Because that's, that's how Kyrie was coming. Right. right. I ain't going out there and play. He, all look, he looks like a genius right now. Yeah. yeah he looks he like a genius. Because yeah, you know he was like, how am I going to go down there and play? And this shit, like, you can put the shit on the back of the jerseys and this and that, but. Who give a fuck? Yeah, like, nobody's fuck. not looking at that and being like, you know what? Black Lives Matter shit on the yeah. court. You, you know what? Equal stuff, rights. That person wearing equal rights. Hmm. That ain't you know gonna change, I'm going to change, change people, some shit. That ain't going to change people's mindset. No, it's not. It's, it's not. It's not. You know, you make a bigger statement had you were sat out the rest of the season. Play. You know, and that I trickles would, down to other sports like football and all those other You know, football Football wasn't going to stop. They they making them niggas play. They're making them play. They have a choice to opt out of their contract. It just depends but on. But there's been people that have opted. No, no, absolutely. It all depends on how much you're saving. That, I think that was more so um, for Corona. Well, yeah, something. but then that all depends on how you're saving. Athletes, you're good with see, saving. My, my whole thing, my whole thing like is this. These athletes got making all this money, but you're still depending on you know, this NBA money. I mean, or this NFL money. Like, y'all should, y'all making enough money where you know, if y'all wanted to do something like that, y'all could have put yourselves in better positions to, you know, make more money. Back to what I was saying, it all depends on how your saving is, because a lot of NFL players live from paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. It's crazy, yeah, the but they do. Mm-hmm. Like, there's niggas every Thursday of the week get about 500 k $500,000 every Thursday. Mm-hmm. And they're living off that. Week for week, and don't, this is not this is not include the guarantee money that they already have, because mm-hmm. that's when people get the contract stuff mixed I'm, up. I'm thinking, you know, you're not like a rookie or something. There's some like, rookies even you, Chase yeah. Young. Chase Young signed a good contract for four my, years. Yeah, my thing is this: if you should have enough money, or you should make enough money to make that money make more money. But right? some people so, live beyond their means. You, a lot of people can take care of people too. So yeah, you know, that, that, that's Scotty right Pippen. Yeah, that's a lot of shit. Oh, man. Scotty Pippen on the dribble. I just ain't got it. Woo! Shout out to Rose. Yeah, man. But I don't know, man. This, I just don't know what's going to end up happening in the future, man. Just, and that's But everything part. that's been going on, these cops actually being charged and shit. And going to jail and all of those stuff, you think, you know, like you said before, they'd be a little bit more conscious. Bro, they may start making Robocops, honestly. I mean, keep it G with you. Maybe, maybe in like 30 years. You never know. I mean, look, look at fast food. You, you, you ain't got to deal with people in <laughs> fast food no more. I don't even got to. And that's it. You ain't got to deal that's, with that's people. That's another thing, too. I, I don't know if we keep getting off topic. Yeah, that's that shit going to keep going. <laughs> keep going out and going to face every day with robots and shit. That's a whole. That's a whole nother. My Papa Jeffrey told thing. me that one day. This, this is gonna happen, bro. They already got cars driving themselves. This is only gonna be a matter of time for they got you know all that Uber shit get out mm-hmm. the way. Truck drivers you all get that. in the car. You gonna see you just gonna see a robot. You gonna be, they ain't gonna be no fucking steering wheel. Nah, you it's gonna, gonna be them. They're chilling. There ain't gonna, gonna be no no leniency you know when it comes to a robot. Though it's gonna be. You know, we go by the book. Give my shit. Yeah, Give my shit. <laughs> hey, I ain't got it. Doors locking. Everything turned red. It's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, yo, stop playing. Yo. That's I can swipe shit. again. That's some funny shit. Yeah, that's, some funny, that's some true shit. When that, yo, let me tell you something. When that car turned red, I'm going to tell you something, right? <laughs> At least we're not getting shot, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, shit, you don't know that? When that car turned red. <laughs> they be in there switch because it's, it's, a, it's a robot's life. So they, if a black person got a gun, then you know what I mean. Don't that care. robot don't care. Oh. Oh. How, do we, how, how do we get to this? Oh, no, <laughs> oh no, that's some funny shit. I might want to talk about that some other time. We can. Yeah, that's some funny shit. Shout out to Will Smith, I Robot. <laughs> that's funny. That shit was probably telling the future. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's basically telling us we need Will Smith to come blow robot brains out. Oh man, Will been doing Will been catching smells lately. Nah, we roll along. That was my role model, man. He really, he didn't let me down. Let me lock people down, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into this shit. Y'all got anything else to cover on the actual subject we're talking about? I think we covered. I think I think we covered. I think we covered. Just in conclusion, like I. Be more cautious. 
I understand what's going on. Y'all understand what's going on. Don't make any stupid decisions while they got guns going on. You're just being pulled over, period. Yeah, man, it's to the point where now I got all my shit out before you even get to the car. Right. Bro, when I'm driving, my shit is in the passenger seat. So shit, when they pull shit, up, I'm hand. like, yo, bro, it was right there. I'm not grabbing nothing. Yeah. I'll shit, my shit in my visor. Nope. All I got to do is grab it out there. Take that shit to the horn at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I tell them, I'm like, bro, open the door. Here it is. Right on the seat. It's to the point you got to ask certain questions. I remember I got stopped one time. I couldn't find my license. I was like, y'all think it's in my bag, bag and trunk. He was like, all right, you go get it, open it. I'm like, can I, can I reach in here and get it? <laughs> he was like, yeah. I'm like, you know, you know, shit going on now. And you got to ask him certain questions because did you go in there nonchalantly reaching in the bag and the next thing you know, you, all you hear is blam. Like, mm, shit crazy, man. Not no freeze, no nothing. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's just the world you live in. And that's just unfortunate. You know, it sucks. And it sucks, like, you know, we're at the age, you know, so we're going to be having kids, man. Do you even want to bring kids into a world like this? I know I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. I want to have kids, but not like this. I don't want to have to fear my kids going, you that's know. That's another thing, too. You got to have a different conversation with your kids now. Yeah. Real you shit. You can't even play with certain shit outside. Nope. You can't be doing it. Like, when they, when they get older and they outside with they, you know, they friends and shit. Or and they stick out. gun fight. You, you have stick to, gun fights? You gotta have some. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna stick gun fights. Not that you have, like, you do shit, like, extra shit. Well, bro, I mean, at eight years old, I ain't have a BB gun. So, a stick gun fight. I had all types of shit. These are cat guns back then. Yeah, I had a cat gun. Cat gun, water guns. Well, living in an apartment complex I lived in, I couldn't do that until I went to my um, grandparents' house. You have them all letting things off. Yeah, I know. That's why I used to like, (laughs) I used to be out there all the time. (laughs) Boom! He was out there calling cops like, these things not here. (laughs) But he was throwing firecrackers in the dumpster selling shotguns going off. I remember a certain situation, man. Like I've, I've been there for a long time. We used to be out there doing a whole bunch of dumb shit, and cops just come out there for, you know, just the silliest shit. But then, when somebody actually went out there and let a gun off, no, no cops showed up. <laughs> nah, they came that time. We was at that. <laughs> I'm saying like shit like boys complaints, park people like running around doing playing with like fucking cat guns. Police showed up for all that shit. Somebody actually let off a shot out there and no cop showed up. Because they thought y'all were bullshit. <laughs> y'all niggas cried wolf too I, much, I man. Find, I just find it funny. Y'all cry wolf too much. I just find it funny <laughs> when it's a real situation going on. You niggas ain't nowhere to be found. No, this thing is done purposely. <laughs> just like they rolled them niggas started shooting them. Them cops ran back to the car. I can't remember the fucking you know, shit that happened at uh, art all night. Oh shit! So, I mean, yeah, man. Oh, wait a minute. Said, uh, they said the cops was out there to shoot. They ain't know who they shoot. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you! It's like what? They just heard gunshots and it started firing. Like wow. Yeah, it said you know I forgot how many people they said got shot that night. They said a lot of that came from the cops. That thing. <sighs> Proper training. Yeah. You and you only know where shit coming from. I know there's a lot of chaos going on because you hear gunshots and people running, but the first thing you decide to do is just start shooting. You don't even know what's going on. That was the first like, time. Like, who made that idea of, hey, when we get out there, let's just start shooting? First time I've seen some shit like that, where the cops actually just shooting into a crowd. I'm like, whoa. Like, yeah, you know what that reminds me of? That call, who was that Call of Duty game? When you got to yeah. shoot people at the airport. That was, what, the Call of Duty 3? Yeah, I think. That's, I remember that, so, that's funny you mentioned that, because there was a meme yeah. on Facebook, and it was like, motherfuckers, uh, did, did this shit when, without no did problem. Did flinch, yo. <laughs> that's what them motherfuckers did. Put it in there and lit. But, yo, that, <laughs> that's that's what it's they, crazy. They did. But it's crazy how that shit kind of got swept under the rug. Yeah. Like, you ain't hear nothing about it. So cops was out there ready. Yeah. Shoot, yeah, that's, that's another thing, too. That's another thing I was thinking in the back of my mind. Like, just because of a bunch of uh, bunch black of folk out there. Now, so. if them motherfuckers would have went up there shooting into a crowd at Penn State, that shit would have been national news. Mm-hmm. Shooting on white people up at Penn State like that. But since it's art all night and it's in Trenton with different colored people, now all of a sudden, nobody know what happened. It's an accident. That's, you know, all they know is that the people that was, it's you know, nice involved got arrested and one guy died, and that was it. 
It's an accident. It's crazy. They were trying to portray it like, you know, them people involved with how all them people got shot. Yeah. It made, made zero sense. Yeah, well, that's a lot of bullets. Them motherfuckers must have had a lot of bullets. Bro, I can't remember right, the exact on, number of people that they said were shot. It was over 10 people. Yeah, it was more. It might have been over 20. Shoot, that's yeah. Automatically. So, so you tell, so you tell me one person, I one person out old, there shooting old, like John Wick. It was over 20. It was over 20. If I, I'm going to check it. And then, uh, when we know wrap this up and shit. Yeah. I've seen it, but I was I was about a good distance away, mm -hmm. luckily. But I've seen the amount of people, not only that got shot, but the amount of people that got trampled. Mm -hmm. Right? Because we're talking about, uh, there had to be hundreds of people running. Yeah. Running. Right. Mind you, it's like 2 a.m. anyway. Like, I, was, yeah, bro, like, I, I wasn't going to that shit anyway because mm -hmm. I, never I, already, I, I went one year. Nah. But I already knew some shit was going to happen because... You know, there's a lot of shit going on in the town around yeah, that time yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah. So oh. people, people was asking me, he was like, yo, you going? I'm like, hell no. I ain't going to that shit. I'm like, this, I already know what's going to happen. And then that shit happened. I woke up, <laughs> I woke up the next one. I'm like, yo, that's oh, crazy. Man. I'm like, I'm glad yeah, I ain't yeah. go to that shit. Like, so I just had to be there. So I'm there. So right. I'm like, nah, bro. Hell yeah, no. Everything was smooth, though, up until that point. Everything yeah, bro, was smooth. This is, that's how it always yeah, be. Yeah. That's how it always be. Oh. You know, catch me here. I wouldn't have been here anyway. I had to go to work the next day. I knew that shit was, I think that shit happened around like, what, 2 in the morning? Yeah. So I wouldn't have been there anyway. I would have been home asleep by then. <laughs> so the cause of the fact, you know, I moved differently now because of a situation like that. Right. All right. So I think we covered everything that we need to cover. We did. Had a couple side conversations. Well, you know that happens here. Uh, okay. <laughs> that I definitely know, happens here. Y'all know by now. Yeah, y'all know. Y'all like know why we here. Y'all like listening to our bullshit anyway. Yeah, absolutely. So we want to thank our guest Dave for coming through. I appreciate you. Uh, hey, <laughs> y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Stop being punks and come on the show. Yeah, man. Talk about stuff. Yeah. Then we'll get to that. Gonna get mad. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, I'm going to be a like oh, I'm gonna get on here and then I'll be trying to hunt people down or talk. I just stop. I just stop responding. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just stop responding. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Yo, bro, I'm ready to come on. I just left, leave it on red. Because <laughs> we've been through this already. All right, we've been through this. But until next time, it's Jay. It's, it's lit logic. Catch y'all next time. Peace. Hey.